hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is chimema wow it feels so good to be able to sit in front of the camera again <laughs> thank you guys for being very patient with me i took a month break i think i'll start doing that every year i'll try my possible best by god's grace to be consistently putting out two videos every single week throughout the year just so that i would be able to deserve this one whole month break thank you for coming back to watch this means a whole lot to me without further ado let's get right into today's video 400 level has been very tough i'm not even going to try to sugarcoat anything or to make it look like as if it's been smooth riding all through for those who do not know this is my third year in 400 level i was in 400 level in 2021 i was in 400 level in 2022 i'm still in 400 level in 2023 so it's not been funny it's been delays strikes upon strikes that's really frustrating me i must say well thank god for god thank god for extracurricular activities i've been able to keep up however academically it's been very challenging i must say by god's grace i've been able to you know write some exams here and there it was tough microbiology most especially has been a thorn in my flesh remembering those organism names remembering all the taxonomy and all that it's not been easy for me to remember these things i mean these are things that i've not seen in my life this is the first time i'm getting to know these things as for pharmacology i think the only issue that i have with pharmacology is the fact that pharmacology is names strange names names of drugs they have different characteristic mechanisms of action adverse effects <sighs> it's not been funny classifications and all that thank god for my lecturers pharmacology lecturers i have to give it to them they are really trying then for histopath god histopath is so voluminous oh my god like i don't even know i think histopath is the anatomy of preclinicals it's so voluminous although i wouldn't say histopath is difficult histopath is like a mixture of anatomy and physiology so i wouldn't call it difficult i'd rather call it voluminous there's so much that you need to know in a very short period of time and my histopath lecturers are really trying i have to give it to them then we move on to chempath this thing is just about chemistry pro max I've been struggling a lot with Kempat. I don't even know how I'm going to cope. I don't know how I'm going to cope with this Kempat because it's been a, another thorn in my flesh. Those who do not know that I have a very terrible background in chemistry. My chemistry lecturer started organic chemistry on the week that YX started. In fact, that's when my chemistry problem started. So any single grade I've ever had in chemistry, I had to work my ass off for that grade. And so it takes me more effort to be able to score whatever I need to score in any chemistry related course so chem part has been a thorn in my flesh but my lecturers are really trying i have to give it up for them then hematology i think hematology is my favorite course so far learning about blood anemia and everything about blood i think i find it very interesting my hematology lecturers are very strict they are no nonsense people this kind of people that once they're in class you cannot step in so they always keep me on my toes i enjoy hematology and hematology is relatively easy it's not voluminous as well it's something that i love so those are the five courses that i am doing in 400 level and that method i told you guys in my preclinicals that every day i come back from school i study everything that i learned that day before i sleep then i wake up in the morning and study the courses i'm supposed to learn that day. whatever was taught in the previous class i go through it then i also told you guys that during weekend i read through everything i was taught that week guys believe me when i say i kept to that schedule strictly but it's still not enough for me to meet up with the volume of work and not just volume of work with also the strange names the strange terms so by god's grace i'm still trying to work out other strategies and with the help of the holy spirit of course god i don't even know what i would have done so far without the holy spirit so with the help of the holy spirit of course i'm trying to work out some other strategies other ways that i would be able to really study this thing effectively because that strategy that i use in preclinicals it is not working for me in these clinicals i know i'm not in the right place to give advice to any 400 level student because i mean i'm still a 400 level student but i would really tell you guys to hang in there don't expect it to be easy because you're trying to jungle all of this with m1 s1 postings 
and classes and end up posting exams and all 400 level has been so hard on me mentally hard on me emotionally even physically i've fallen sick so many times like i can count like five weeks at a stretch that i wasn't able to go to school because of one sickness or the other it's been very difficult very hard on me but above all of this i am very confident in my god i'm very confident in christ jesus for those who do not know i'm a christian and i'm a strong believer of the holy spirit the holy spirit has been my companion so far so if you're watching me and you're currently in 400 level or you're about to be in 400 level i'll ask you that you should have a backup and then i'll tell you that try the, the strategy that you use in pre-clinic out probably it work for you who knows but mine didn't work for me and please don't miss classes don't miss your practicals don't miss your postings attend it is very important and keep your notes your materials up to date don't miss attendance attendance is very important at 400 level i don't know how things are in your school for textbooks for now i've not really settled down with any particular textbook that will categorically tell you that this is my holy grail for now i don't have any holy grail textbook i'm just still trying to see which one will work for me and which one is not working for me but we rest assured after my professional exams i will definitely come back and give you guys all the tea i'll tell you guys every single strategy that helped me in 400 level i'll also talk about each of these courses in depth and let you guys know what exactly you should do in case you're having any problem with any of these courses so i've made so many mistakes and i'm sure i'm making these mistakes just so that i will never make those mistakes again and also so that none of my subscribers will make that mistake i'm here for you and for those who do not know i mentor preclinical students so although it's not for free if you're interested you can send me a dm on instagram or send me an email with all this said see you guys in my next update video all the best to every 400 level students out there keep grinding i love you all bye